Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Let's see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. Fire sign. Fire sign is back. Oh my goodness. What's going on with this fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage a relationship. Okay. And I just want to get one more. Oh, I've got divorce. Ooh. Wow. This is going to be a heavy situation here. Okay. All right, Virgo. There's a fire sign who's trying to get in the middle of a relationship. To cause is causing a breakup. They're saying it's causing a breakup. All right, let's see what's going on here. There's a third party situation involving a fire sign with a three of swords energy of some type of breakup or a divorce. Okay, it's either a fire sign doing it or someone in the middle, but uh, fire sign is involved. All right, let me see. Show show Virgo more what's going on here. Hello. Okay. The Magician. Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some communication that's happening. Someone's telling another person that someone is cheating or is given out to another person. Okay. Um, involving a fire sign. Absolutely. We do have the Magician, which is Gemini Virgo. Uh, but there is some flirty text messages uh, about meeting up. There's lust. <laughs> There's um, passionate fire energy. Here's the lovers. Okay. So they're okay. <laughs> Somebody is trying to prevent a relationship from continuing involving a fire sign. Now, either you're with this fire sign or you're with someone else. And the fire sign is the one who's trying to get in the middle or, um, or you're with a fire sign. Did I say that? And there's someone else who's trying to cause a breakup here. Okay. Because there's your card there. All right. Or it's you. Maybe you're trying to cause a breakup between a fire sign and somebody else. Uh, either way, there's a third party scenario going on. I can't really confirm 100% who's doing what. But I will tell you. And we have cancer energy here. Somebody has been uh, to see another person there has is something that has actually occurred um you might have um somebody coming to you virgo somebody coming to you coming towards you like they could be physically coming towards you or just energetically coming towards you to tell you either to stress you out or exhaust you or get you out of out of a picture of some sort either to protect you or to diminish you from a relationship of some sort okay um they're carrying a huge burden about this third party thing okay yeah let me see here Virgo this is drama drama llama llama drama wow okay restriction you Virgo you might feel like you're kind of trapped in the middle of something here yeah, there's like there's huge restriction being placed on you causing a lot of insecurity and a feeling of like just feeling trapped I, I see you just feeling really trapped in some kind of a relationship there's so much drama oh look at this the moon there's deception yeah, Virgo, you need to like, I don't know what's your, what's going on here with the, your involvement with why this fire sign is involved. 
in this situation. They might be the they might be the someone else. I'm seeing divorce. I'm seeing a breakup happening here. Involving a fire sign. I just keep saying that and, and it's just yeah, look at that. A decision is being made, Virgo. In this time period, between now and as you're listening to this, going through like the third week of January, there's a decision that's being made. Someone's getting the boot. Yep, and it's going to be made swiftly. There isn't going to be any second thoughts, okay? There isn't going to be any second thoughts, and maybe you're going to do it, or another person is going to get a divorce. There's, there's a lot of drama. There's someone else involved in a relationship here. You might find out about this and give this fire sign the boot just be like i'm done make a decision i'm out blocking don't want anything to do with this if there's a fire sign messing around um or uh, you might be in a relationship with someone and and uh, find out your person is or know that your person is whatever they are restricting you in some way in a relationship or a marriage and you might decide that you want to be with the, another person perhaps a fire sign and just cut out like you might be making plans like really doing it okay so you've got the three of cups i feel like you have a lot of um support around you at this time there's people surrounding you who um are gonna like be there your your soul tribe whoever they might be friends family whomever that i feel like are gonna have your back in some kind of drama situation in this drama situation you're not going to be out there in the cold by yourself I feel like there's going to be people around you that are like, we, you know, whatever you need to do, we are here for you. You are not going to be alone. Yeah, definitely a family. Definitely a family. You might be reuniting with family as you go through something here. Some, like, I don't feel like this is a shock coming out. If it is, and you don't like, you're totally not expecting this. Um, like I'm not seeing this shock energy. Okay. And what I mean by that is I feel like there are some of you who are like, no, I already know. Yep. This is already happening to me. And I, and I, I don't want you to force fit the reading in if everything's like totally cool with you and your person and you know, they're not messing around or anything going on like that, or there isn't a third party involved in this situation. Third party could be another romantic person. Um, it could be like, any kind of in involvement that interrupts the relationship that takes precedence over a very a, a connection that was once strong is no longer so whatever the situation is here i feel like you are that you like yeah no i already know right um try not to force this <laughs> try not to be like oh well why don't, i don't think anything like that's happening to me but now it is because i just listened to this reading and that's what's happening no i'm not predicting this is going to happen i feel like this is for those of you who are like yeah i already know my person's not committing there's a lack of committing here there's there's other options here there's you know am i in fantasy land no this is the real thing here that's happening Okay, um, and you might be a little bit confused too about this situation. Like, is, is my person, do they, like, I feel like they have other options. They're going outside of the relationship, outside of the marriage, or is there somebody else trying to come in here and split us up? Yeah, uh, there, there's a little bit of drama here. What should Virgo do? Okay. Virgo, uh, crazy, to, crazy to say this, but <laughs> it's a tall order. But when asking what you should do, you have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is um, being different during this period. Which kind of means put some blinders on. I don't know why they're telling you to do that. There could be a reason that I don't know. But I asked specifically. Let's ask why. Why does Virgo need to put their blinders on? And be indifferent and apathetic to the whole situation. Oh, okay, because somebody's coming in to cause trouble. Page of Swords is a nasty, stalking, possessive, gossiping kind of energy. And someone's very curious. And I feel like I have to tell you that, Virgo, if you have a very strong, strong bond with someone and someone else is trying to come into the middle of it and place a wedge, that's why they're saying to be indifferent. Okay, and don't pay any mind because if your bond is strong, 
you trust your person, then you guys are good, right? Nothing can, like the glue is so solid that nothing can come between you. Okay, but if there's a weak spot somewhere and you have doubts, then you need to figure out why that spot is weak because that is crucial. The relationship cannot be healthy and strong if it's got weak foundation. There must be strong pillars of support and foundation in a relationship in order to keep it going. Um, anybody, I think, who stays in a long-term relationship where there is infidelity and lies and deceit and they stay, um, I mean, it'd just be so detrimental to your soul. But I do understand why people stay. You know, um, there's many reasons as well, more than more than what I can think of. But I do feel like there is <laughs> that page of swords. Yes, there is something. Um, there is an energy of I feel like some like a planting of a seed to try to cause some disruption in a connection you have with someone. Okay. Um, Yes. Could it be a fire sign? Of course. Could you be involved with the fire sign and this is happening? Of course. Let me see. What is What should Virgo do besides just being indifferent to the scenario? Oh. Okay. I've got the star. All right. Don't lose hope. I just said, I, I just heard, don't, they just said, don't lose hope. Um, be fierce. They're saying be fierce. Do not, uh, they're saying do not let the sadness or grief take over. Stay in a place of hope. In other words, like the star is very healing. Stay in a place of healing. Stay in a place of like understanding. Okay. There's Aquarius energy there. Um, Okay, so they just said stay focused on the North Star. Okay, the guiding light, the, the light source. Stay focused on the light source. Even when it's dark, find the brightest star in the night and let that be your light source even in the darkest of night when there's uncertainty and a lack of clarity. Um, now the Knight of Swords does represent a lifestyle change as well. And I feel like oh, they just said some the person that you uh, connect with that you're connecting with the the, the the romantic person they just said um oh no 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 it's not them it's it's the someone else it's the interference will try to come in and disrupt your uh We'll try to come in and disrupt your your healing is what i'm hearing yeah you know it's so funny well it's not funny but it's ironic i should say when you're on that path of healing i always feel like when you're doing your very best to stay in a good place you often find that that's when people um tend to come in and and or an energy wants to come in and try to disrupt that um sadness wants to come in and take over your brain um, regret, remorse, uh, when that, those negative feelings come up and then they take residence in your head, um, it's so hard to stay hopeful, right? And I feel like that's the battle for you. That's the, that's the, the strongest battle for you is to be diligent and persevere in not losing your hope and not letting anyone else come in and try to affect some kind of change in your life that so they can get you out of the picture is what I hear. Okay. Whoever they might be or whoever might try to come in and disrupt something between you and possibly a fire sign or another person. Right. Um, that's the strongest message I'm getting here. And this, these messages are tough today. I don't know what's going on, but I wish you all the best. Virgo. Good luck with this one.